How to create a drop down menu in Figma. Now, the first thing that we need to do is head over to frame and just select a random frame. I'm going to pick desktop. And then what you need to do is make a rectangle. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this right here. And here we can drop some text. Uh, let's just change this. So let's change it up a bit. Um, 64. Is that good enough? A uh, little. Uh, yeah, this is good enough. Like that. Let's go shift A. Uh, let's do that. So let's just use a polygon. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's move it right here. Let's do the fill. Let's make it black. Okay, so this looks kind of nice. Okay, so this looks kind of nice. Uh, let's get another rectangle. Uh, does that look nice? Let's do that. Uh, add some text. This can be copy paste. Oops. Let's do that. Shift A. Hold Alt. Drag it down like that. Let's go keyboard. Shift A. Shift A. Do that. I'm gonna make a auto layout like that. So now that we've done this, what you need to do is select this drop down menu. Don't select the one at the top, but select these uh, these options and then group them up into one single thing. Once you've done that, select everything, uh, create component, add a variant. And now you'll have this component, you'll have the default, open up the default. Select the drop down menu, which is frame 10. I'm going to rename it so that it's a drop down menu. Let's select it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select clip content and then do this. Now this is the default element. Once you click this, this will happen, this will pop up. So we need to go to prototype and then drag an arrow towards this guy right here. Uh, select change to go to smart animate. He's out 300 milliseconds. Okay, sounds about right. And now what we created is basically this. I'm going to show you what we created. I'm going to hold alt. Here is this right here. Let's go to present. We're not done yet, but this is the drop down menu. So as you can see, I click it and boom, here's the drop down menu. Now what we're going to do is click here. Uh, select this plus icon to add another variant of this one. And then what you want to do is, for example, if we selected monitor, uh, it should say monitor here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this uh, frame 10. Uh, I'm going to go to design, clip content. I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on the text here, then type in uh, monitor. I'm going to do that. Select this polygon, do that, and make it so that it's right there. Now let's go to prototype and let me show you how uh, this should work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this uh, right here in the layers, frame 7, it's a monitor. So I'm just going to get this, drag it onto here. 
Um, let's go smart animate is out. Yeah, sure. And then, for example, if we click this, it should go to select item again. So let's do that. Change to various smart animate erase. Very cool. Very good. Let's uh, present. And this is what we made. So select item. I click that. I click monitor. And here's monitor. Let me click it again. And uh, I'm gonna do this exact same thing with keyboard and microphone. So I'm just gonna do this exact same thing. I'm just gonna fast forward. And here we go. You click select item. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to change though. There's one thing I forgot to change and it's this little silly bugger. I'm just gonna uh, flip this vertical. There you go. So select item. Here's the keyboard, monitor, microphone. Let's go with keyboard. There you go. Monitor, microphone. And there you go. That's how to create a drop down menu in Figma. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, see you in the next video.